Yeah. Hi guys, Shinji here. And in this video, I will rank the top 5 best girls of Final Fantasy VIII, analyzing the waifu material of these female characters. Remember that this is based on my preferences, so maybe it doesn't match with the opinion of most fans. For the first position, I chose the girl that I would like to date or marry. And just like in real life that you can have only one wife, only that girl would be my waifu. And I want you to do the same. You can pick up only one girl to be your waifu, so don't cheat. If you're watching this video, you probably already know the story of this game. You can skip this part if you want, but I think it's important to mention the contest in which these characters are inserted. So, for those who don't know the story, I'll give you a brief summary. In the world of Final Fantasy VIII, there is an ancient energy known as the Sorcerer's Power that is passing down through generations. People feared this power, so a military academy was created to train soldiers who can wield a power that imitates the power of a sorceress. Those who graduate from the academy become seeds, who are contracted around the world as mercenaries and take on various missions. We follow the story of Squall and his team, who was contracted by Renoa, a member of the resistance, to help them in a mission. And as the story progresses, they will join forces to fight against the sorceress. The game has a good story, but it's a little confusing, and in my opinion, it lacks character development, which makes it difficult to get attached to them. I would like to know more about these characters, but we only have superficial information about them. I know that if I knew these girls better, probably this rank would be different. For example, Elon could be here. I like her style because I love girls with short hair, but I know her very little. If they remake this game, I hope that they fix this. Alright then, let's get started. Fujin Fujin is a member of the disciplinary committee. She is stoic and disciplined. She is the most stringent member and she is very loyal to her friends. I always liked this girl because of her style and haircut, but there's nothing more to analyze. The character development is not so good with the main characters, so with sub-characters like her, it doesn't exist. She stands out just for her style, and because of this, she's even in other Square Enix games, which is rare for a sub-character. I always wanted her as a playable character. If I knew more about her, she could easily be in a better position in this rank. I really like her, but how can you get attached to someone that you don't know? Idea When first introduced, Idea is possessed by Otomicia, the evil sorceress from the future, and we see her as a sadist and cold woman. But out of the sorceress control, Idea is benign, gentle, mature and has a lovely personality. She devotes her life to helping others and even ran an orphanage in the past. She's the one who raised almost all the playable characters. She's a very nice woman, but she's too good for me. I'm not at her maturity level, she would probably see me as a kid. Oh, <laughs> I'm not ready for this type of woman yet. Okay. I agree that she's beautiful and hot, but I already know that she prefers an older and mature man and not an emo otaku like me. Quistis Quistis was a Squall's instructor and the youngest instructor in the academy. But in the first hours of the game, she was dismissed from her position as an instructor because of her lack of leadership skills. And then she became a normal seed. Despite looking as if she is composed and assertive, Quistis can get emotional. She is prone to failure and easily feels down by the smallest things. She thinks of herself as the group's big sister and takes upon herself to look after everyone. She is smart responsible and reliable. I remember that I didn't care about her when I was young, 
but after replaying the game, I saw that our personalities are very similar. She's like a female version of me, a person who has a tendency to leadership, but it's not good at it. Anyway, I only see her as a friend. I don't think that people so similar work in loving relationships. I don't love myself that much to want to date someone exactly like me. But she's nice. For her personality, I would put her in a better position. But I don't like her appearance. What? I recognize that she's beautiful, maybe the most beautiful of all these girls. But I'm not attracted to this blonde European type of woman. Selfie Selfie is a transfer student who joined the academy to become a seed. She's an upbeat, outspoken and hyperactive girl who participates in many extracurricular activities, such as playing in festivals, playing many instruments and running a school website. She's a loyal friend and enjoyable company. She often lifts her companion spirits, distracting them from the seriousness of their problems. Compared to the other girls, she's the less beautiful. Take a look at her portrait. You see that who designed her wanted her to be more on the ugly side. The cosplayers and fan arts change the image that we have of her. And even in the remastered version of the game, she's cute now. I have to admit, I prefer this new version of her because this is how I have her in my mind. But checking her original portrait, we see that it wasn't her creator's intention to give her a cute baby doll face. Yes. I've met some girls like her in real life. They were not beautiful but were not ugly either. Like Selfie, they were normal. But their happy and brightful personality makes them beautiful. I love Selfie, she's my favorite party member. It's always fun to be with her, so I think she would be a good girlfriend. Hey guys, before I reveal my waifu, I wanna ask for your support. If you can and would like to support me to keep producing more videos like this for you guys, there is a link in the description for donations. You can donate in any currency and you choose the value. Okay, back to the video. Renoa. Renoa is the daughter of a military commander and an idol singer. By the time she is 17, she left her house and joined a group of rebels to fight against the government. She is compassionate, warm and friendly, although she can act stubborn and naive. She is true to her feelings, loyal to her friends and committed to do what she thinks is right. A cheerful girl who has the heart to treat everyone fairly. And as you can see, she is gorgeous. She is the only playable character that is not connected to Idea's orphanage. All the other characters have the same past, which makes her more interesting than the others. What I see here is that the creators of Final Fantasy VIII used that orphanage to focus the game more on the main story and how to save the world from the sorceress than investing on creating a background to each character. It's like... Hey man, just put everyone in that orphanage. If everyone has the same past, we don't need to create a past for them. Anyway, back to Renoa. She was made to be the favorite. She's in the logo of the game, so they invested in her. I don't consider the story of Final Fantasy VIII a love story. But we have the love story of Squall and Renoa in it. And this was well developed. We easily fall in love with Renoa. I like how mature she got throughout the game. She was just a spoiled girl rebelling against her father. But traveling around the world made her understand the reality of things. And by the end of the game, after being possessed by the sorceress, she was willing to give up her life for the good of the world. Oh, and I love that part that she sits on Squall's lap. I love girls who take initiative and are open to express their desires. I personally prefer girls who lead things because I don't have an attitude. Man, Renault is perfect. 
What else can I say? You are my queen. So that's it. Of all the girls of Final Fantasy VIII, Renoa is my waifu. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and say in the comments who is your waifu. So that's it for today, see you soon and bye bye!